Verizon, if I'm crashing at 200 ping, that, that's that's not cool. Just because I saw going to do a protest outside of your building does not mean you have to crash me. That doesn't make any sense. And it just appears. Like, they're a joke. Look, who crashes at 200 ping? Like, what is you, what, what are you talking about? You get 200 ping, you get... Like, you get 200 ping when you play Fortnite. How do you crash in VR chat with 200 ping? Like, you literally get freaking 200 ping when you play Fortnite, but when you get 200 ping when you're playing on PC, VR chat, you just instantly crash out of nowhere. <sighs> Verizon. That's just so phenomenal. That's hilarious. You know what? Somebody give me a project on what to do for school. This is what I'm going to write about. I'm going to write about how trash Verizon is at their job. I like to snort coke 264 ping. Okay, 204, 180, 174. But, like I said, I'm going to write a report on how bad Verizon is and how they just scam their customers out of thousands of dollars, e thousands of dollars each year, literally. I don't know how much people be paying for Verizon, but they need to stop. Like, one day, Verizon is just going to cut off, say, I give up. People don't like me no more. I'm gonna just stop, do, just like stop doing bad stuff, and they just shut off. Like, it's like they purposely kick you off their freaking Wi-Fi routers for you just saying something bad about their company. Like, like this is weird. Like, honestly, like Verizon is just straight up weird. I can't stand Verizon. Whoever's controlling the freaking Verizon company needs to get fired. Actually, let me look up who controls the Verizon company. Who is the CEO? No, not CEO. The owner. I want to know who the owner is. Who is the owner of Verizon? Okay. Okay, let's see. Hans Vestberg is the owner of Verizon Fios. Hans Vestberg. That's the dumbest name in history I've ever heard in my life. Okay. So this man just looks like he smokes crack off the top. Here, I'll send you a picture of what this man looked like. Because if you own Verizon and this is happening, I don't know what's wrong with you. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with him. To be honest, I don't care about. I'm gonna send you a picture of of what Hans Vestberg looks like. He looks like a teenager that's look that's still in high school, bro. Like, hands, bro. Hans Vestberg. I've never heard of Hans Vestberg ever in my life. If I meet him, I'm gonna say, Give me, "Where's my money at?" I crashed. I crashed. I crashed. I. At 123 ping, really funny Hans Vestberg. Hans Vestberg. Like, what kind of name is Hans Vestberg? Like, get out of my face, bro. Like, get out of my face. You're mad weird. You're weird. You're weird. You're wild. Because if I'm crashing at 200 ping, not even 200 ping, 120, 123 ping. 123 ping. You need to. Bro. Go recline in one of your recliners or retirement home. Like, honestly. Like, I don't even see my Wi-Fi on the screen. If I can't see my Wi-Fi on the screen and I can't see 5G on the screen, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. I don't know why you're, I don't know why you're owner of Verizon, Hans Vestberg, but you need to get fired. Or, not, you can't even get fired. You just need to, like, just stop working. 
these just need to stop working. I don't know if it, I don't know if it's your employees that are going on strike saying, I'm gonna just start a forest fire in the freaking electrical part of the building where the Wi-Fi is, so nobody can get Wi-Fi, or you just don't care, or you're just like snorty crack in the back of your office, or you're just somewhere in the office getting doing something. I don't know what you're doing with your life, Hans Vestberg, but this is not how. This is not how you treat your customers. I ho- Hans Vestberg, fix your company, fix your Wi-Fi. Because this should not be happening whatsoever, Hans Vestberg. It shouldn't be happening at all. Crashing at 200 ping is wild. That is disgusting. If I'm crashing at 200 ping, that's a big red flag right there. That's a problem. That is a problem, Hans Vestberg. That should not be happening. I'd rather switch to freaking Xfinity than keep having Verizon. I literally pay... I would, like... Paying thousands of dollars for each year, like with Verizon, is wild. You don't have to pay that much money for a freaking Wi-Fi service that does not help you at all. Like, somebody could be working from home, right? And then their Wi-Fi just turns off. What sense does that make, Hans Vestberg? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Like, how would you like it if you say like you wasn't? freaking owner of Verizon, how would you like it if you're working at home, right, and your internet just cuts off for no reason, how would you like it, how, how would you like, how would you like that, and like, the company just says, mm, eat it, eat it, take it right to the face, <laughs> like, how would you like that, because I wouldn't, personally, I wouldn't like that, I want to, personally, I want to take that disrespect, I want to do that, because if that's happening to me, I don't want to, I, I don't, it doesn't make any sense why the why that happens at Verizon files wireless. Oh, here we go. Look, Hans Vestberg, good job. You finally did your job correctly. <laughs> wow, Hans Vestberg, you want a cookie now? You want a cookie because you want to bring back my Wi-Fi, Hans Vestberg? <laughs> good job. Good job for doing nothing, Hans Vestberg. Thank you very much. Thank you for ruining. Wi-Fi for people for 12 years. Thank you. Thank you, Hans Vestberg. You should be nominated the worst company owner of all time.